Welcome back. I'm going to take this opportunity to show you guys the latest and greatest in medical integrated technology. So when I talk about integrated, I'm actually referring to the audio and video of a room. And Carl Storch just installed this audio and video system about a month ago. Let me see if I can get this out of the way. I don't know if I'm too happy with this. Actually, I'm not happy with this. The old system used to be in a rack and it was contained, it was safe. You can see, even though the installers here were, were excellent people, I'm not too happy with that the system itself isn't integrated into a rack. So it has no place to really sit except for down there on the bottom. Anything that sits on the ground, of course, gets dirty. So this guy up here is the heart of it all. This is a fiber switch. And actually, I think I can take it off. There we go. You can see it gets way louder. When I say fiber switch, it's a regular data switch only for fiber optics. Now this system here, I believe costs us $120,000 or $130,000 just for the audio and video system. That doesn't include the brand new monitors. So this audio and video system here, you can see how many components it has. It's got two large controllers down there. It's got all these little converters here. Look at all those little converters. Here, that's actually a, uh, I think that's a KVM over there. We have these little decoders and encoders over here. And of course the fiber switch. But that's only a piece of the puzzle. So you can hear how loud that is out here. It's a good thing that's not in the operating room someplace. The doctors would be going crazy, that thing's so loud. So I'm gonna take you now into the operating room. So this operating room actually houses our DaVinci system, which is why it probably got the Cadillac of integrated systems. So you can see up here, we have 32 inch 4K displays. I've got a 4K display over here. I think it's a 65 inch and another 32 over there. So I got three 32s and a 65 inch. I mean over here, this is the touch panel, the circulator system. Oh, actually, look at that. Lovely. They're still logged in. That's a big no-no. Video recorder. Uh, camera controller for the in-light camera and the printer so that they can print uh, images of uh, whatever they're capturing. Now this system here, it integrates the camera over here, the inputs from the DaVinci robot, and uh, we have the surgeon's computer over there. The nurse's computer is another input and there's actually a series of inputs over here on that boom. This system I'm definitely not happy with. There's a, I don't know if you can tell, but look up here. See that right there? That is active cooling, which you'd think would be a good idea because active cooling is definitely gonna keep your components cooler and that will prolong their life. As anybody knows, anything with active cooling gets dirty. Now look at this. I have active cooling up there. So I have video converter boxes mounted on the backs of my monitors and those video converters also have active cooling and they're under a shroud. So I can't really get in there and clean them too well. And it's got that tiny little fan and as tiny little fans get dirty, they get loud. They get really loud and they burn out really easily because their bearings are, they're tiny. So this there's that one. I've got more converters over here. Look at this. There's just components all over to this Carl Storch system right there. There's that one. I've got them behind every single one of the monitors up here. I've got them behind the shroud right here. So I have little fans everywhere that I'm gonna have to go around and clean. And I wasn't expecting that. So you can see what it looks like up here. 
right there's that little converter box and you can see the fan how far it's buried up in there so I gotta get up in there with some compressed air or something and blow that fan out hopefully I don't over rub the fan when I'm blowing it out and cleaning it out because if I over rub the fan that creates DC voltage and you can blow out the electronics internally uh, with a reverse DC. So that would be uh, the Cadillac of the uh, Carl Storch systems. It's brand new, latest and greatest, using the fiber switch. Until then, they were all using a large video controller. This is the touch screen for the system. You can see I have endoscopic camera, which is right over here on the boom. I have the nurse's PC, which is this one. I have the surgeon's PC, which is the one that's over by the Da Vinci robot. I've got vitals, which pull from this monitor right here that attaches to the patient. I've got uh, the four and one plates, which are actually, you can see them right there. See that little silver box? And there's also one of them over here on this boom right here. And that's where you can attach other things like scope towers. You can, uh, you can attach headlight cameras, whatever, whatever we need to. You can see I've got DaVinci right here. That's, uh, that's where the DaVinci tower right there, it plugs into it. You see the cable right there. That's DaVinci. Now we go to the second page of video, the AIDA preview. That would be this guy. So the video recorder, I can see what it's doing. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can, you can do it on this system. I can do AIDA control, so I can actually type in the patient record and everything uh, by tapping into AIDA control. There you go, you can see it. So if I want to, I can just hit that button bring it all up full screen, type in the patient's information, and then I can shrink it back down. Just a, a bunch of functionality that they never use. They really don't. We've got in-light camera, which is actually this box right here, which is another reason for all those little guys up there. I've got room camera, which is that guy right up there. And... I have stream in, which is something that I don't currently have set up. Uh, that allows doctors to talk to other doctors in other locations. So anyway, um, that's the Carl Storch system. It's a little over-engineered. Uh, we use about 25% of its functionality. And I've got a lot of components that I've got to maintain that I don't have to do in other rooms. So I'm going to have to put these guys on probably a six-month PM to come in and clean them all the time. If you guys can imagine this, what if I have an outage? Somehow, one of these devices quits talking, which did happen once. Where do you start? There's a hundred components to this system. You know, just that video rack that's back there alone. It's, it's got all these components. They all have flashy lights. Seems like it's a good idea, but it's way over-engineered. And uh, it, it proved it the other day when we had an issue couple weeks after the system was installed and uh, it took us like an hour to get the room back up and going because the the system has just got that many components they all have to talk together that is the Carl Stort system fiber switch based IP based hundred and twenty thousand dollars very expensive hope you enjoyed this video let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover I'd be happy to